Hey guys, it's Lori. Hey, I just wanted to let you all know that um, Midget, my little Chihuahua mix, was attacked last night by our neighbor's dog, um, who's a bull mastiff, and it was, it was pretty crazy. Um, but I just wanted you guys to see her, her backside. We were at the emergency vet for five hours yesterday, and it was just, it was really scary. Um, but anyway, she's on and heavy anti duty biotics and some painkillers <clears throat> and um I just gotta keep a real close eye on her um there's certain areas that you can see that it's turning black and he's concerned about that but he's more concerned with um it's kinda hard to see it in this video but there's there's an area right in the middle there where it's like it's got a yellow tint to it <clears throat> and then there's another area above it that's yellow and he's worried that if that turns black that means the skin is dying and then she'll have to have surgery to remove the skin and you know stretch the skin over and stitch it so that <clears throat> it's healthy tissue so um this is my baby midget my baby girl i know um i just fed her and she had some water and i gave her her pain pills and we're just hanging out today I'm going on about an hour and a half of sleep, <clears throat> so I'm really out of it. Um, Kat and Lucille, obviously I never left the house today to mail off your um, images, but I will do that this week. Um, but I just wanted to show you my baby and tell you that Halloween wasn't so great. It started out wonderful. She was in her costume with her little butterfly wings, and then he came over and just mauled her literally he just he just grabbed her and was had her had him in his had <clears throat> her in his mouth and he was shaking so violently trying to I guess he was just trying to kill her I don't know and uh I literally was playing tug of war with this dog I had midget um in my hands on both sides on on both sides of his mouth and uh it's amazing that I didn't get bit by this dog um but I was refusing to let go of my dog and he finally let go and I literally fell backwards onto my ass and then onto my back um, but I had midget in my arms and that was the main thing and <clears throat> got up very wobbly <laughs> and then ran into the house as my husband was running out and we rushed it to emergency Sorry guys, but I wanted to share this with you. We just love our pets so much, and we try to keep them safe, and something like this, you know, giving out candy to all the trick-or-treaters, and her being in her costume, it turned into this. It's just very, it's just very hard. So unfortunately, I don't have any video of her in her costume and she looks so cute. You know, the costume was destroyed, but at least I have Midget. So I just wanted to share with you guys and just keep Midget in your prayers that she <clears throat> recovers soon. She's in a lot of pain. You know what really makes me so angry is that this neighbor literally lives right next door to us <clears throat> and when this thing happened I mean she literally just like walked back into her house didn't come over didn't didn't call didn't leave a note nothing I mean how do you do that you see your dog is viciously attacking your neighbor's 17 pound chihuahua I mean how do you just not even acknowledge it well anyway I did call animal control because I wanted it to be on record and um, he told me because both the dogs were on a <clears throat> on a leash that it's not a criminal um, thing but it's more of a civil case he did ask me if she came over and offered to <clears throat> pay for the vet bills and I'm like she never even came over to see how the dog was and he said he was kind of surprised about that because she is liable for it. And 
<clears throat> if she doesn't pay, if she doesn't offer to pay the bills, or if you ask her to pay for these vet bills and she refuses, he goes, then you file a civil lawsuit against her. And he goes, 99% of the time, the judge <clears throat> will favor the victim because it's considered, um, it's considered um, property of yours. And this dog obviously wrecked your property, so they're usually responsible for paying the bills. And he says he's seen a lot of cases like this, and a lot of times the people the judge makes them pay the vet bills so <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes but at this point we just want her to feel comfortable and not be in any pain and you know last night was pretty rough <clears throat> she uh we got home i guess it was close to one in the morning and then you know we set her up in her crate and i put it next to my bed and she just was crying the whole time like whimpering not like screaming crying but just whimpering you know <clears throat> so I finally shut the lights out at about two in the morning and then I was up at a quarter after three and <clears throat> I opened up the cage and she just kind of like popped up forward at me you know like oh she could move because when I first brought her home I mean she whatever they gave her she just couldn't move I mean she could barely chew but um so I picked her up and I put her in my bed and she stopped whimpering <clears throat> so we laid there till about I don't know I think I got up it was five o'clock <clears throat> so I just been caring for her ever since and um, I just feel so guilty that I had her out there you know and in harm's way like that but who would have thought something like that would happen I mean they were both on leashes I just I'm just so upset, guys. Alright, guys. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.